Hey there, everyone. I'm new six meteorologist Samara Kokinas. Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com. We have been bumped up to a slight risk for severe weather potential overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning and possibly again by tomorrow afternoon. So let's take a look at the timing for tonight. It looks like a few stray showers near the coast on Lombard and going into southern Miss Volusia around 738. But then it clears out by about 1130 or so. We start to see another round of showers, light rain, mainly developing over Marion. Watch southernmost Osceola and Brevard as well because it follows suit. All this moisture moving in is due to a stalled front. So we're going to notice that the interaction between this front and high pressure over the Bahamas will stream a lot of moisture into our area and we'll definitely see waves of rain moving in. So by 1.30 in the morning, we could have a few stray showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but it's after 2 and getting closer to 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning where the concern for strong to severe thunderstorms moves in. We're talking about uh, definitely a lot of heavy rain, some strong wind gusts up near 50 miles per hour are quite possible, as well as the potential to see maybe an isolated tornado. It can't be completely ruled out. But as we get closer to daybreak and about 7 o'clock in the morning, notice a lot of that rain is is near the coast, a lot of it definitely over the five, uh, Daytona 500 and stretching back into Lake Sumter and Marion counties. But then we get a little bit of a break. And I think by noon, if we start to see some breaks in the clouds and we get a few more thunderstorms going along with the sea breeze, we could see a round of severe thunderstorms by the afternoon. But as of right now, the model doesn't do a great job at hinting at that. And we hope that is the case, that it kind of just calms down. So here's that front I was talking to, to you about. It's going to continue to meander back and forth for a few days. So we're going to continue to see high rain chances tomorrow and for a few more days at least. 64 degrees will be your overnight low with those storms developing by tomorrow. Check this out. Second half of the day for now looks like it could be a little bit drier, but I am anticipating that if we get those breaks in the clouds and a few thunderstorms going, that it'll be a little bit more active in the afternoon. High of 80, southeast wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So as we get some results for you. On Valentine's Day, a 50 to 60 percent coverage of rain. As we head into President's Day, 40 percent with a high near 83. We stay with that unsettled weather pattern through at least the end of the work week when second front goes through and check that out. Your high on Friday, 72. By Saturday, it'll be a lot sunnier, but a lot cooler with a high of 66. That's your pinpoint accurate forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.